right guys so this is my room and I took the upstairs like smaller area because all I do is like sleep in my room so I literally just put my bed here and then I hung a few things I have like this hanging plant and then I have this floating shelf right here um, I just really wanted this space super simple. I have like my nightstand area, all my monitors, and then I have a little side table, and then Anthem likes to watch TV in the morning. So I just and, like just had this TV mounted so that she could watch that. And then this cute little vintage chair over here. And then in this closet, I'm not gonna show you, but this is all of my Taj stuff for my clothing line. So I store all of the clothes and stuff in this closet. Super simple, and yeah, I haven't really done a ton to it, but. Okay, so another thing I wanted to share for my room that I just recently got from Chi Wan is this AC air unit and also a dehumidifier. And I am really excited to install this into my bedroom because it gets so hot in here. And where I live in the summer months, it's over 100 degrees all the time. So it's really hard to keep my room cool, especially with this window. So this is an easy installation you put in your window. It is very energy efficient and super affordable. It cools up to 150 square feet around you. So it really keeps everything cool it also has two cooling and two fan only speeds and then it has two a directional vents it also has a removable and reusable air filter which is super easy to maintain so you guys can go ahead and check this out it's amazing i am so excited to start using this in my um, room so yeah that's basically what this one does and then i also got another um, system from Chi Wan and it is a dehumidifier which is so perfect for where I live because the humidity is crazy here um, so when we go downstairs to show you my living room I'm going to show you how that one works and yeah we'll go downstairs Okay, so this is what the dehumidifier came in and I love that you can reuse this and it's super sustainable. You can use it as a storage container. It shows you the little pictures. You can use it as a coffee table or even like a cat box. So it's really cool that you're able to reuse this again. Um, I went ahead and took out the dehumidifier and plugged it in and set it up. I love how eco-friendly and energy efficient it is. Um, all you do is just press the power button and they have all of your settings and stuff on it. So it's really cool. And also another thing that I love is that it rolls. So you can roll this around um, in different areas of your house. And it also will dehumidify in a 4,500 square foot home. So, or area that you would like to use. It's really good to use for like basements, bathrooms, garages, or offices and stuff. I like having it in this space because I have two doors that I open all the time. So the humidity gets really bad in here. So I love that this dehumidifies it. Really cool, it's got so many settings on it. So it has really easy instructions on how to set it up and put it together. And then it also has a wireless controlled app. And so you can actually manage your dehumidifier through the app and stuff. So that's really easy and simple to use. Overall, I love Chi Wan's AC and dehumidifier. It makes my room so cold and the dehumidifier is so great with the built-in pump. It makes my life so easy. Okay, so this is the living room, which has been a huge update since the last time I did this video. I had like a really small couch. It was like positioned like right here and the TV was right there. So we moved this whole thing around. I got a giant couch because this is such a big space. I wanted it really open and just have like a better flow so we got this giant couch which i love the sectional we have our coffee tables i got some more seating chairs and stuff and then i went to the tv over here because i hate that it's like i hate tvs being the main focus in the room so i wanted it to be just kind of like tucked away inside um so yeah that's pretty much the living room okay so my favorite part of the house is probably this hammock that i hardly ever use but I love having it because people just like sit in it and just swing and rock and it's just kind of relaxing and calming and it kind of makes the house feel more like a vacation home because it's just like something fun for it. So this is our dining area and then also I kind of transitioned this into an office for Hannah too because um, she works all the time here and needs a space for herself for like shipping for the clothing line and just random stuff. So this is kind of like, I never use this, but this is like her office space and then dining room we eat here. This is my kitchen where I pretty much spend most of my hours. I have this giant island, which I use to meal prep, 
the sink. I love the sink right here so I can like look and see what Ethan's doing. Obviously we have like the stove, all my cabinets. I try to keep everything pretty organized. I think these are just all my dishes, so pretty organized right here. I've Anyways, we have like pots and pans and stuff. Um, and then over here, I have my pantry. It's a mess. <laughs> it's just where they go. We need to work on this. We one. just organized I it. I just organized it and then it got to be a mess again because I went grocery shopping and then stuff happened. So you just have to always keep maintaining it. This is the half bath. I didn't want this to be anything crazy because I just love simple, simple spaces. So I just added some plants, um, a little basket, obviously our soap, and then we just have the toilet right here, and then I did a little wall hanging. So it's a really small space, so I didn't wanna like overwhelm it. Um, but yeah, this is all that it is. This is Anthem's room. I ended up adding a few more of her little toys and stuff up here. This is her bed, and then we added this little chandelier that Hannah and I made, was homemade from her birthday party. So. This is her little updated room. We didn't do much to it since the last house tour, but um, that's her little dresser area and all of her little hats and stuff. She's got those little floor cushions. Um, I don't, I guess I will show you guys her closet. Closet is her colorful free space to where she can just make a mess and do whatever she wants. These are some of her clothes. And then we have some like extra storage stuff up there. So that's pretty much her room. Do you love your room? You love showing everybody your room? My, my pretty dresses. Oh, we gotta show them all your pretty dresses. So many pretty dresses. And this is my a flower one. Oh, that's the, a flower one? And that's a cute one. Oh, that's a cute one? Okay, so that's Anthem's room. This is Anthem's bathroom. Once again, I like everything minimal and simple. So we just have her little stool. I'll bathe her in her tub. Um, my grandmother made this little rainbow like wall hanger, which is really cute. And then we have just, I've gotten a lot of this stuff from like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. Um, so we have a really simple bathroom and then she has all of her drawers have like all of her stuff in it. It's like a mess right now. We keep towels in there, um, extra stuff. And then this oh, little closet is nice. I keep all of her baby clothes that she's grown out of. It's really a mess. I haven't done much with this closet yet. Anyway, it's just a bunch of random stuff that she's grown out of or whatever, so. Outside, I need to cut the grass, but this is Anthem's play area. I love this. This is a, I forgot where this is from. Anyway, I, I got an outside table because we love to eat out here and do crafts and stuff. And then she just has a few of her toys. And then over here, I have my garden. Which I actually need to check on my cucumber. Oh, it's like <gasps> What is it? It's a cucumber, but what? Why is the so weather bad? kind of got to it. Anyway, there's some, oh, there's some more in there baby ones anyway there's some baby cucumbers growing and then we have like lettuce and basil so and there's peppers over there um i love my garden i think it's so fun can't always keep up with it but it's it's still nice to have something fresh that you can just pull out your garden and eat but this is anthem's playroom slash our only guest bedroom that we have because we only have two bedrooms upstairs so this is our guest bedroom and also our foster room for babies and kids. So we currently have a little foster baby. So she's staying in here. If I were to get like older kids and stuff, uh, this is a trundle, so it has two beds to it. So super convenient for like even just people spending the night and stuff. And then in here, I have my bathroom and my closet, which I keep downstairs because it's just easier to like change and stuff for videos and content and stuff like that. So you can come see the bathroom. Isn't anything crazy special? I will show you guys. It's a massive shower that I'm literally obsessed with. And then I have the double sink, double vanity type thing. And then obviously all my makeup and stuff. I keep my makeup in here too. I also have my closet in here, which I'm gonna do a sneak peek. It is a mess, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's pretty much my updated house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I love doing this because I've done random things to it since the last time, which was like a year ago. 
Uh, so it's cool to see like what I've actually updated. But if you want to go see my other house tour video, what it originally looked like, you can go see that. And then I also have an empty house tour when I first moved in. So you can see like the progress of me decorating and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and then also go into the description box for more information on Shion's um, home appliances. So.